So you got your big break really on, you know, So You Think You Can Dance back in 2005. Now, what was it like performing for that show and like what got you into that? So funny, before it was actually even a show, um, I had some producers reach out to me saying there was going to be this new big dance show that they were going to start in America and they would love me to, you know, come in and kind of show them what I do. So mm -hmm. I came in and privately auditioned for them and then the producers, I guess, watched this talent and kind of took it to the network and then they built the show kind of around that from like original auditions that you didn't even see um, on the yeah. TV show. Um, and then it was just, you know, first season, which is crazy. So there was so much stuff that had to be worked out and changed. But I mean, you know, obviously it was the biggest launching pad for any dancer, especially me being uh, as young as I was. I was really just starting. I mean, I had, I had been on the road with Brittany for about two years before that. Mm -hmm. um, and that was obviously amazing, but nothing like that exposure to, you know, be in 15 million people's homes <laughs> dancing right. for them, which is, is crazy. So it opened up being able to tour my own brand at a very young, uh, young age, make 10 times the money that I would dancing behind Britney because, you know, now people are paying for me as opposed to, you know, her <laughs> really. Yeah. So, um, it, you know, it opened up a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities and, and really helped, um, to be able to make a, a good career out of it. Yeah, definitely. And speaking on Britney Spears now, what was that experience like and how did you ever get booked for that? Like, that's amazing. So <laughs> I got booked basically, you know, it was like, it was a long process. I would say over the course of six years because uh, mm -hmm. my mentor, one of my dearest friends is named Brian Friedman and he's been choreographing for Britney for the longest. And I was the biggest fan of him when I saw him dance uh, Britney's Slave for You at the MTV VMAs with the snake and the whole production. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> um, and I was like, who is that? I wanna dance exactly like him. I wanna do that with my life. Make a long story short, I got booked for one of my first jobs ever in Canada for mm -hmm. Aaron Carter's tour, Nick Carter's brother. Remember he used to oh, be okay. a really big pop star. Yeah, and I was yeah. really young, I was only like 16 or 17, but Brian came out to choreograph that. So that was our initial meeting. And then a lot of my, sim we had sim similarities when it came to dancing. I was very technical, I could turn a lot. I was a jazz kid, but I also had some funk, which reminded Brian, I think of himself. So he mm -hmm. kind of took me under his wing and I started assisting him once I moved to LA a couple of years later. And then I just really started to grow from assisting him over the course of two years. And then came Britney auditions where he had actually done the song before the tour was booked me against the music in class, where he showed her a video of me dancing in a small group. And she was like, I want him for tour. So I didn't even need wow. to audition. Wow, that's amazing. So that really goes to show like networking is seriously important. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, <laughs> networking and, and just time, timing, you know, I, I strongly believe that like your door, my door, this person's door is truly meant for them. You know, it's like wow. we all have our own path. It's just, do you stay on the golden path or do you continue to make choices where you're just not aligning yourself for your own path? Mm -hmm.